Punjab is a state in North India, forming part of the larger Punjab region. The state is bordered by the Indian states of Jammu and Kashmir to the north, Himachal Pradesh to the east, Haryana to the south and southeast, Rajasthan to the southwest, and the Pakistani province of Punjab to the west. The state capital is located in Chandigarh, a union territory and also the capital of the neighboring state of Haryana. The summer residence of the governor of Punjab is at Shimla. After the partition of India in 1947, the Punjab province of British India was divided between India and Pakistan. The Indian Punjab was divided in 1966 with the formation of the new states of Haryana and Himachal Pradesh alongside the current state of Punjab. Punjab is religiously diverse, with Sikhism and Hinduism being the predominant faiths practiced by the state's population. Agriculture is the largest industry in Punjab. Other major industries include the manufacturing of scientific instruments, agricultural goods, electrical goods, financial services, machine tools, textiles, sewing machines, sports goods, starch, tourism, fertilizers, bicycles, garments, and the processing of pine oil and sugar. Punjab also has the largest number of steel rolling mill plants in India, which are located in Steel Town, Mandigobindgar in the Fatagar Sahib district. Etymology the word Punjab is a xenonym and exonym from the Persian words Panjanab, thus Panjab means five rivers, which roughly means land of five rivers. The five rivers are the Sutlej, Bees, Ravi, Chenab and Jhelum. Traditionally, in English, there used to be a definite article before the name of i.e., the Punjab. The name is also sometimes spelled as Panjab. While the Greeks already referred to Punjab as Pentapotamia, an inland delta of five converging rivers, the name Punjab was given to the region by the Central Asian Turkic conquerors of India, and more popularly popularized by the Turko-Mongol Mughals. History Ancient history during the period when the epic Mahabharata was written around 800-400 BCE, Punjab was known as Trigata and ruled by Katak kings. The Indus Valley civilization spanned much of the Punjab region with cities such as Harappa. The Vedic civilization spread along the length of the Sarasvati River to cover most of northern India including Punjab. This civilization shaped subsequent cultures in the Indian subcontinent. The Punjab region was conquered by many ancient empires including the Gandhara, Nandis, Mauryas, Sungas, Kushans, Guptas, Pallas, Gurdjera Pratiharas and Hindu Jahis. The furthest eastern extent of Alexander the Great's exploration was along the Indus River. Agriculture flourished and trading cities such as Jalandhar, Sangrur and Ludhiana grew in wealth. Due to its location, the Punjab region came under constant attack and influence from both west and east. Punjab faced invasions by the Achaemenids, Greeks, Scythians, Turks and Afghans. This resulted in the Punjab witnessing centuries of bitter bloodshed. Its culture combines Hindu, Buddhist, Islamic, Afghan, Sikh and British influences. The city of Taxila, founded by Taxa, the son of Bharat, who in turn was the brother of the Hindu deity Rama, was reputed to house Takshashila University, the oldest university in the world. One of its teachers was the great Vedic thinker and politician Chanakya. Taxila was a great center of learning and intellectual discussion during the Maurya Empire. It is today a United Nations World Heritage Site. Sikhs in Punjab The roots of Sikhism began at the time of the conquest of northern India by Baba. His grandson, Akbar, supported religious freedom and after visiting the Langar of Guru Amardas had a favorable impression of Sikhism. As a result of his visit, he donated land to the Langar and had a positive relationship with the Sikh gurus until his death in 1605. His successor, Jahangir, saw the Sikhs as a political threat. He arrested Guru Arjan Dev because of Sikh support for Kushrao Mirza and ordered him to be put to death by torture. Guru Arjan Dev's martyrdom led to the sixth Guru, Guru Hargobind. 
declaring Sikh sovereignty in the creation of the Akalt Act and the establishment of a fort to defend Amritsar. Jahangir attempted to assert authority over the Sikhs by imprisoning Guru Hargobind at Gwalier. He felt compelled to release him when he began to suffer premonitions of an early and gruesome death. The Guru refused to be released unless the dozens of Hindu princes imprisoned with him were also granted freedom, to which Jahangir agreed. Sikhism did not have any further issues with the Mughal Empire until the death of Jahangir in 1627. His successor, Shah Jahan, took offence at Guru Hargobind's sovereignty and after a series of assaults on Amritsar forced the Sikhs to retreat to the Savalik hills. Guru Hargobind's successor, Guru Hare maintained the Guruship in the Savalik Hills by defeating local attempts to seize Sikh land and taking a neutral role in the power struggle between Aurangzeb and Darashiko for control of the Timura dynasty. The ninth Guru, Guru Tegh Bahadur, moved the Sikh community to Anandpur and travelled extensively to visit and preach in Sikh communities in defiance of Mughal rule. He aided Kashmiri Pandits in avoiding conversion to Islam and was arrested and confronted by Aurangzeb. When offered a choice between conversion or death, he chose to die rather than compromise his principles and was executed. Guru Gobind Singh assumed the Guruship in 1675 and to avoid battles with Savalik Hill Rajas moved the Guruship to Paunta. He built a large fort to protect the city and garrisoned an army to protect it. The growing power of the Sikh community alarmed Savalik Hill Rajas, who attempted to attack the city. But the Guru's forces routed them at the Battle of Bangani. He moved on to Anandpur and established the Khalsa, a collective army of baptized Sikhs. On 30 March 1699, the establishment of the Khalsa united the Sikh community against various Mughal-backed claimants to the Guruship. In 1701, a combined army composed of the Savalak Hill Rajas and the Mughal army under Wazir Khan attacked Anandpur and, following a retreat by the Khalsa, were defeated by the Khalsa at the Battle of Muktsar. Banda Singh Bahada was an ascetic who converted to Sikhism after meeting Guru Gobind Singh at Nandid. A short time before his death, Guru Gobind Singh ordered him to uproot Mughal rule in Punjab and gave him a letter that commanded all Sikhs to join him. After two years of gaining supporters, Banda Singh Bahadur initiated an agrarian uprising by breaking up the large estates of Zaminder families and distributing the land to the poor Sikh, Hindu and Muslim peasants who farmed the land. Banda Singh Bahadur started his rebellion with the defeat of Mughal armies at Samana and Sadhaura and the rebellion culminated in the defeat of Sirhind. During the rebellion, Banda Singh Bahadur made a point of destroying the cities in which Mughals had been cruel to Sikhs, including executing Wazir Khan in revenge for the deaths of Guru Gobind Singh's sons. Baba Zora War Singh and Baba Fatah Singh after the Sikh victory at Sirhind. He ruled the territory between the Sutlej River and the Yamuna River established a capital in the Himalayas at Logar and struck coinage in the names of Guru Nanak and Guru Gobind Singh. CIs Sutlej states The CIs Sutlej states were a group of states in modern Punjab and Haryana states lying between the Sutlej River on the north the Himalayas on the east, the Yamuna River and Delhi district on the south, and Sirza district on the west. These states were ruled by the Sindhya dynasty of the Maratha Empire. Various Sikh Siddhas and other Rajas of the CIs Sutlej states paid tributes to the Marathas, until the Second Anglo-Maratha War of 1803-1805, after which the Marathas lost this territory to the British. The CIs Sutlej states included Kaithal, Patiala, Jind, Thanasar, Mela Kotla, and Faridkit. The Sikh Empire The Sikh Empire was formed on the foundations of the Punjabi army by Maharaja Ranjit Singh. The empire extended from the Khyber Pass in the west, to Kashmir in the north, to Sindh in the south, and Tibet in the east. 
The main geographical footprint of the empire was the Punjab region. The religious demography of the Sikh empire was Muslim, Sikh, Hindu. The Sikh empire began with the disbandment of the Punjab army by the time of coronation of Ranjit Singh in 1801, creating a unified political state. All the MISL leaders who were affiliated with the army were nobility with usually long and prestigious family histories in Punjab's history. After Ranjit Singh's death in 1839, the empire was severely weakened by internal divisions and political mismanagement. This opportunity was used by the British Empire to launch the Anglo-Sikh Wars. A series of betrayals of the Sikhs by some prominent leaders in the army led to its downfall. Maharaja Gulab Singh and Raja Dian Singh were the top generals of the army. The Sikh Empire was finally dissolved, after a series of wars with the British at the end of the Second Anglo-Sikh War in 1849, into separate princely states and the British province of Punjab, which were granted statehood. Eventually, a lieutenant governorship was formed in Lahore as a direct representative of the British Crown. Punjab province the CI's Sutlej states, including Kaidal, Patiala, Jind, Thanasar, Mela Kotla, and Faridkit, were under the suzerainty of the Sindhya dynasty of the Maratha Empire following the Second Anglo-Maratha War of 1803-1805, when Marathas lost this territory to the British. During the war, some of the states in the region gave their allegiance to British General Gerard Lake. At the conclusion of the Second Anglo-Maratha War, an 1809 agreement with Ranjit Singh, ruler of the Sikh Empire west of the Sutlej, brought these states under formal British protection. Ranjit Singh's death in the summer of 1839 brought political chaos, and the subsequent battles of succession and the bloody infighting between the factions at court weakened the state. By 1845 the British had moved 32,000 troops to the Sutledge frontier to secure their northernmost possessions against the succession struggles in the Punjab. In late 1845, British and Sikh troops engaged near Firozpur, beginning the First Anglo-Sikh War. The war ended the following year, and the territory between the Sutlej and the Bees was ceded to British company rule in India, along with Kashmir, which was sold to Gulab Singh of Jammu, who ruled Kashmir as a British vassal. As a condition of the peace treaty, some British troops, along with a resident political agent and other officials, were left in the Punjab to oversee the regency of Maharaja Dalip Singh, a minor. The Sikh army was reduced greatly in size. In 1848, out-of-work Sikh troops in Multan revolted, and a British official was killed. Within a few months, the unrest had spread throughout the Punjab, and British troops once again invaded. The British prevailed in the Second Anglo-Sikh War, and under the Treaty of Lahore in 1849, the Punjab was annexed by the British East India Company. Ing Dalip Singh was pensioned off. The Punjab became a province of British India, although a number of small states, most notably Patiala, Kapoortala, Faridkut, Naba, and Jind, retained local rulers in subsidiary alliances with the British with the rulers retaining their own internal sovereignty but recognizing British suzerainty. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre of 1919 occurred in Amritsar. In 1930, the Indian National Congress proclaimed independence from Lahore. In March 1940, the All India Muslim League passed the Lahore Resolution, demanding the creation of a separate state from Muslim-majority areas in India. The ambiguity of the Lahore Resolution sparked violent protests, in which Punjab became a central stage. In 1946, massive communal tensions and violence erupted between the Punjab's Muslim majority and the Hindu and Sikh minorities. The Muslim League attacked the government of unionist Punjabi Muslims, Sikh Akalis and the Congress and led to its downfall. Unwilling to be cowed down, Sikhs and Hindus counter-attacked, and the resulting bloodshed left the province in great disorder. Both Congress and League leaders agreed to partition Punjab upon religious lines, a precursor to the wider partition of the country. 
independence and its aftermath in 1947 the Punjab province of British India was partitioned along religious lines into West Punjab and East Punjab. Huge numbers of people were displaced, and there was much intercommunal violence. Following independence, several small Punjabi princely states, including Patiala, acceded to the Union of India and were united into the PEPSU. In 1956, this was integrated with the state of East Punjab to create a new, enlarged Indian state called simply, Punjab. The undivided Punjab, of which Pakistani Punjab forms a major region today, was home to a large minority population of Punjabi Hindus and Sikhs until 1947, apart from the Muslim majority. Immediately following independence in 1947, and due to the ensuing communal violence and fear, most Sikhs and Punjabi Hindus who found themselves in Pakistan migrated to India as part of the exchange of populations. Punjabi Muslims were uprooted similarly from their homes in East Punjab, which now forms part of India. More than 7 million moved to Pakistan, and over 6 million settled in Punjab. In 1950, two new states were recognized by the Indian constitution. The Indian part of the former British province of Punjab became the state of East Punjab, while the princely states of the region were combined into the Patiala and East Punjab States Union. Amarchal Pradesh was later created as a union territory from several princely states in the hills. Formation of current Punjab The capital city of the undivided province of Punjab, Lahore, was allocated to the Pakistani West Punjab during the partition of British India in 1947, so a new capital for Indian Punjab was built at Chundagar. Shimla was named temporary capital of the Punjab until Chundagar was completed in 1960. After years of protest by Akali Dal and other Sikh organizations finally Punjab was divided along linguistic basis in 1966. On 1 November 1966, the Hindi-speaking southern half of Punjab became a separate state. Haryana and the Pahari-speaking hilly areas in north became Himachal Pradesh. Chandigarh was on the border between Punjab and Haryana and became a union territory that serves as the capital of both Punjab and Haryana. During the 1970s, the Green Revolution brought increased economic prosperity for the Punjab, mainly due to the late Pratap Singh Kayan. However, a growing polarization between the Indian National Congress central government and the main Sikh political party, the Shiromani Akali Dal, developed during the 1970s. Hostility and bitterness arose from what was widely seen by the Akali Dal as increasing alienation, centralization and discriminatory attitudes towards Punjab by the government of India. This prompted the Shiromani Akali Dal to pass the Anandpur Sahib Resolution, which asked for granting maximum autonomy to the region of Punjab and other states and limited role and powers of the central government. Geography Punjab is in northwestern India and has an area of 50,362 square kilometers. It extends from the latitudes 29.30 degrees north to 32.32 degrees north and longitudes 73.55 degrees east to 76.50 degrees east. It is bounded on the west by Pakistan, on the north by Jammu and Kashmir, on the northeast by Himachal Pradesh and on the south by Haryana and Rajasthan. Most of the Punjab lies in a fertile, alluvial plain with many rivers and an extensive irrigation canal system. A belt of undulating hills extends along the northeastern part of the state at the foot of the Himalayas. Its average elevation is 300 meters above sea level, with a range from 180 meters in the southwest to more than 500 meters around the northeast border. The southwest of the state is semi-arid, eventually merging into the Thar Desert. The Shiwalak Hills extend along the northeastern part of the state at the foot of the Himalayas. The soil characteristics are influenced to a limited extent by the topography, vegetation and parent rock. 
the variation in soil profile characteristics are much more pronounced because of the regional climatic differences. Punjab is divided into three distinct regions on the basis of soil types, southwestern, central, and eastern. Punjab falls under seismic zones 2, 3, and OV. Zone 2 is considered a low damage risk zone, zone 3 is considered a moderate damage risk zone, and zone IV is considered a high damage risk zone. Climate The geographical and subtropical latitudinal location of Punjab makes large variation in temperature from month to month. Even though only limited region experience temperature below zero degree C, ground frost is commonly found in majority of the areas in winter season. The temperature rises gradually with high presence of moisture and overcast sky. However, the rise in temperature is steep when sky is clear and moisture content is very less in air. The mid-May and June months records the maximum temperature. The temperature remains above 40 degrees Celsius in the entire region during this period. Ludhiana recorded the highest maximum temperature at 46.1 degrees Celsius with Patiala and Amritsar recording 45.5 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature during the summer months in Ludhiana remains above 41 degrees Celsius for a duration of one and a half months. These areas experience lowest temperature during the January month. The sun rays are oblique during these months and the cold winds control the rise temperature at daytime. Punjab state experiences minimum temperature during December to February months. The lowest temperature was recorded at Amritsar and Ludhiana stood second with 0.5 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature of the region remains below 5 degrees Celsius for almost two months during the winter season. The highest minimum temperature of these regions in the June month is more than the day temperatures experienced in the Yan and February month. Ludhiana experiences minimum temperature above 27 degrees Celsius for more than two months. The annual average temperature in the entire state is approximately 21 degrees Celsius. Further, the mean monthly temperature range varies between 9 degrees Celsius in July to approximately 18 degrees Celsius in NOV month.